It's all you can Vegas. So the best buffets in Las Vegas right now. Well, if you know anything about what's going on in Vegas right now, you know that most of the buffets are closed. Well, let's say a lot of the buffets are closed, but a lot of the buffets are open. There are about a dozen buffets still open in Las Vegas. I mean, that's a lot less than there used to be, but at least we have those now. So what are the best buffets open right now in Las Vegas? Keep watching, you'll find out. Well, it's no secret that here at All You Can Vegas, we love the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. It's the, the largest buffet in Las Vegas. I mean, they have so much food to eat, you could never possibly eat it all, but we are trying. Right now, the Bacchanal Buffet is open every day of the week from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. for dinner. It's also open for brunch on the weekend. That would be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. They open starting at 9 a.m. Now, the thing you really need to know about the Bacchanal Buffet is you should make a reservation. You can make a reservation on opentable.com. Just go to the website or go get the app and just put in Bacchanal Buffet in Las Vegas and you'll see all the available time slots where you can make a reservation. And then when you go, you could just check in at the check-in area and they'll put you in a line where you will still wait, but definitely not as long if you didn't have a reservation. Now the big question, how much is it? How much is it going to cost for all you can eat meat, seafood, Asian food, Mexican food, vegan food, if you're into that? Well, it's going to cost $79.99 per person. That's $80 more or less. <laughs> and believe me, I think it's worth it. Now, whether it's worth it to you, your family, your friends, your loved ones, your acquaintances, your coworkers, or strangers you pass on the street, it's up to you and them. But for me and us, it's worth it. Let me just tell you, I cannot get enough of their beef ribs. Their beef ribs are the, my favorite meat off the meat buffet. There's like a whole meat buffet within the buffet. There's at least two, sometimes three carving stations full of meats, prime rib, brisket, Wagyu, this, that, and the other thing, including Wagyu hot dogs. That's not on the carving station, but sometimes you can find the Wagyu hot dogs. That's how amazing this buffet is. And if you like seafood, well, I don't think there's any better buffet in Las Vegas for seafood lovers. They've got shrimp, they've got crab, they've got oysters. They even have octopus. Okay, that may not be the highest on your list of favorite seafood, but I'm sure lobster is, and they've got that too. Lobster claws, like, it's like their hands. You just, you can break it open and there's their, there's their hand, the hand meat. That's what I call lobster claws, hand meat. But absolutely do not leave the Bacchanal Buffet without getting dessert. In fact, I think you need to set aside like a half hour just for the desserts. By the way, there is a two hour limit at the buffet. Not really enforced, but you know, don't tempt them. But definitely set aside half an hour to try all these desserts because they have more desserts than I've ever seen on any Las Vegas buffet and they're all incredible. I mean, the crepe station, that's a standard at Las Vegas buffets. I love it, but they have some really, really unique desserts. Like this, this looks like a, an egg in a frying pan. Well, that's a tasty sweet treat. And of course, all the gelato you can eat. Gotta save space for that gelato. But of course, you, you definitely wanna get your money's worth in meat and seafood, because that's, that's really what it's all about here. But actually, it's, it's all about everything here. I mean, this buffet is so massive. I've literally, we've been dozens of times. You can check out the videos. There's a playlist right here. Click that and you can see all our videos from the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. So what's the next best buffet? open right now in Las Vegas? Well, I'd have to say it's the Excalibur. No, I know, I know. The Excalibur for years, for decades, was famous for having one of the worst buffets in Las Vegas. And let me say, it's certainly no Bacchanal buffet. But if you go in with the expectation that it's gonna be horrible, well, you'll be pleasantly surprised. It's not horrible. 
it's actually incredibly affordable for a Las Vegas buffet. $25 on the weekdays, $30 on the weekends for all you can eat. That's about as cheap as it gets in Las Vegas, except maybe at Circus Circus, but we're not gonna talk about Circus Circus because this is a video about the best buffets in Las Vegas. I mean, Circus Circus is almost the same price. It's $26 on the weekend for brunch, $28 for the weekend dinner. Yeah. You can see my video when I went to the Circus Circus Buffet a few years back. It's basically the same now. Some of our favorite food on the Excalibur Buffet right now is, believe it or not, this orange chicken. The, the Chinese section with the Panda Express type foods. This just tastes just like it. And I mean, if you like that, what I'm saying is it's all you can eat. They also have some really great tasting birria, which is like a, a braised beef Mexican dish. So good. And of course, my beloved fried chicken and mashed potatoes and gravy, all the comfort foods that I love. And if you love them too, well, they're here and they're all you can eat. And they have crepes here too. Always one of my favorites at any Las Vegas buffet, the Crepe Station, and they do it right here at the Excalibur. All right, next up, it's the Cosmopolitan, the Wicked Spoon Buffet at the Cosmopolitan. Definitely one of the best buffets in Las Vegas, and it is open now. All these buffets, by the way, are self-serve. Like, you go up and you get these, these foods just like in the olden days. You walk right up, you grab the, the ladle of the spoon or or you just your hands and you can just grab whatever you want right off the buffet and slop it onto your plate as much as you want until you're so full you can't eat anymore. You know, that's the way I love to eat at a Las Vegas buffet. <laughs> Everybody has their own style of eating at a buffet, but I think the most important thing to remember is just eat what you like and how you like. And how I like to eat at the Wicked Spoon buffet is to go for breakfast or brunch. Now they are open for breakfast, brunch, and lunch, that is, from 8 a.m. till 3 p.m., going 9 to 4 on Saturday and Sunday. But the breakfast foods at the Wicked Spoon are really some of my favorites. I love their French toast. I love their pancakes. And this, I'm not someone that likes to eat a lot of breakfast food. I almost never eat breakfast food for breakfast, like ever in my life. Like I normally, when I get up in the morning, I'll have like a piece of fried chicken. Why would I want like breakfast food? But here at the Wicked Spoon, I definitely want breakfast food. It is some of the best breakfast brunch food you can get in a Las Vegas buffet right now, but I will say it's not cheap. The breakfast is $38 Monday to Friday. The brunch on Saturday and Sunday, it's $49. Trust me, that's, that's almost $50. And lunch during the week, $45. So that's a lot for all you can eat, but it's just about standard these days for any Las Vegas buffet. Well, except the Excalibur, you, or you can go check that out. It's pretty good for like $25. But if you really want to go all the way, I would suggest going for a breakfast or brunch at the Wicked Spoon at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Now, what about the MGM Grand, you may ask? Well, the MGM Grand, we recently went there. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Now, it's been, I've been going to the MGM Grand Buffet for a long, long time. This is a buffet that I first went to in the 90s. I went to it throughout the aughts and of course the tens, the teens. What are we calling years these days? What are we calling these decades? All I know is I've been to the buffet at the MGM Grand Las Vegas a lot. And I gotta say, I've never had that great of a time. Now, I, I still, however, going to include it on this list of best buffets in Las Vegas. Number one, because there aren't that many buffets in Las Vegas open anymore. Number two, the MGM Grand is a spectacular property, a spectacular casino, hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. So just being there feels good. Being at the buffet, well, I'll leave it up to you to decide how you feel about it. How I feel about it is, it's overpriced, but the food, it's pretty good, but not for that price. The MGM Grand Buffet is open only for brunch. It's open from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and only on Friday through Monday. 
And on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's $36.99. $37, and it's, it's $27.99 on Monday. Well, that's a lot of money, but here's why I still recommend the MGM Grand Buffet, and that's because don't overlook the fact that you can get this buffet comped. In fact, you can get just about every buffet in Las Vegas comped if you play the slots, the table games, or even just accumulate points by staying at the hotels or shopping or eating at other restaurants. So even though the price says it's $36.99 for brunch and the food is basically, well, let's just say I wouldn't pay that, but I actually have paid that. So I don't recommend you paying that. I recommend you getting a comp or a two for one deal. And then that's definitely when I would recommend the MGM Grand Buffet at the MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas. But what if you don't have any players club points or offers or comps? Well, then I say head downtown. Head to downtown Las Vegas at the Main Street Station and check out the Garden Court Buffet. Now this is definitely one of the best deals for buffets in Las Vegas. And they're open right now. You can go for brunch and it will only cost you 20 bucks. Well, $20.99. You know, plus a tip. You know, you gotta make sure you tip at these buffets. A lot of people, you know, let me know what you think about tipping at buffets. These days I'd recommend tipping $5 per person at the buffet. So two people leave $10 on the table for your server, especially at a place like the Main Street Station Buffet because they still bring you the drinks. There's not like self-serve drink stations. There's a, they're actually, you know, clearing your plates and just really making everything a, a much nicer experience. I definitely prefer the buffets that have the full wait staff, uh, which has been disappearing from some of the buffets in recent years. So when they're there, be sure to tip them generously. And you can definitely do that at the Garden Court Buffet at Main Street Station. It's only $20.99 for brunch and it's $28.99 for dinner, which they only have on Friday and Saturday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. But I definitely recommend going for dinner because they have a lot of great food like fried chicken and you know more carved meats and all the stuff that, that I love. So those are the best buffets in Las Vegas that are open right now. Leave a comment and let me know which buffet you like. Do you like any of those that I mentioned? Are there other buffets that you like? I know a lot of people like the buffet at the Wynn. Some people like the buffet at the South Point. That's also a very cheap buffet. Some people even like the buffet at the Luxor. But those people are clearly insane. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think about the buffets in Las Vegas right now. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.